What's happening, people? So just catching up from yesterday's boxing. Um, Lawrence Acoli. I was so impressed to see his improvements. You know, a, a young guy coming up the ranks, learning in front of a tough crowd. So uh, Campbell Hatton is doing well. He's on the rise. Jordan, Jordan Gill, phenomenal fight as well. Galau Yafai. You know, that guy, how he just kind of marches forward, catches and counters. Then you have um, Fabio Wardley, good knockout as well. Chevron Clark, C4 Chev with a knockout. Um, you know, another, another competitive person in the cruiserweight division. Who else is there? Anthony Fowler, got a good 10 rounds under, under his belt yesterday as well. I'm not too sure if I mentioned everyone, but as far as I can remember, it was a good card, a good shout. And one thing I have to address, uh, the Polish fans, yeah, came out to shout. The Polish community uh, at the boxing yesterday were phenomenal. The atmosphere in that venue was sick. Um, and also Israel Adesanya as well. Big respect to him. UFC and boxing link up, it's only right. And um, Lawrence says that like, you know, Nigerian heritage, Israel the son in Nigerian heritage, Lawrence Nigerian heritage. You know, there's a lot of uh, dominant Nigerians in, in sport, especially in combat sport right now, slash a lot of dominant Africans in combat sports. So Lawrence wanted to kind of bring that, bring that to the forefront as well. So well done to Lawrence. And I hope everyone was happy. What did you all think of it? Exactly, I agree. It was the coldest walkout. Like, it was just something special about it. iconic. You know, uh, strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. It's a lot of pressure on the fighter as well when you want to do things like that because you have to win ultimately, and that's the main focus. But us, us three coming out shows um, shows unity, shows strength, collectiveness. It's important. So what we, me and Lawrence done, we spoke about training, like muscle memory and things that he needs to work on. I just had a conversation with him this morning. So we're not resting on our laurels. It's about him staying focused. Now I know he's got the win and he does deserve, you know, five or seven days off to recover because it's not just the fight. It's also the training that takes his toll on the body. So he needs to rest his body internally, then rabbit shots on the back of the head as well. But other than that, he needs to get back in the gym and needs to start working on certain things up close. You know, Lawrence is a phenomenal cruiserweight, six foot five, um, powerful guy. But that's not the end all and be all of boxing. Not every six foot five powerful guy can come in and become a champion. Do you know what I mean? So there's a lot of things that he has to work on in order to make his game wholesome. Um, but this was his third world championship fight. I think he's at 18 fights now but he's on the right route because these type of fights at this stage of his career will do him good in the latter stage of his career do you know what I mean he ain't taking no touches light touches he's taking the best in the cruiserweight division that guy there in his area Michael who we fought yesterday is well known to have the heart of a lion like if you do your research in boxing you'll know like He's well known to have the heart of a lion. Lawrence has also fought, fought other people from the Polish community. So it's kind of like a little a little dig where he's saying, I'm going to get revenge. I'm going to do it for the people of the Polish community. And um, that's why he did not go down. Like Lawrence dropped him, boom, overhand right. I think it was in the first round or second round. And for a fighter's mentality, it's like, yeah, you know what? It's going to be an easy night. But the guy stayed in there, the full 12 rounds. And it was the, the atmosphere, the Polish fans made it feel like I was at a football match. I loved it, I was buzzing. Yeah. Who else watched it? Who else watched last night's boxing? Certain people didn't watch it, certain people didn't watch it. But I just wanted to, you know, jump on the live, catch up with my people, give them a little update about yesterday. Um, went to sport Lawrence O'Coley, defending his WBO 
cruiserweight championship of the world. He also looks to take on uh, some other challengers, some other champions in that weight to become a unified cruiserweight champion of the world. A big task, a big ask, but we had a conversation this morning about how my brother needs to stay focused on the job. Um, he's, uh, he's got a lot of talent, but talent ain't enough in this game. He needs to work hard, continue to work hard to chase his dream. But as I said, I want to give a massive shout out to the Polish community. You lot came out to show out and uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. The Polish community really came with some good energy yesterday. Uh, about the Josh Taylor fight, yeah, listen, I'm not, I'm not someone who's involved in Josh Taylor's career. I'm not a commentator, I'm not a judge, but sometimes in the sport of boxing, um, sometimes I feel like the fans judge fights themselves, right? And it's clear to see who wins, who loses, if it's a draw, etc. But maybe we're not qualified to do that job, do you know what I mean? But I can sometimes see that. Uh, when the majority of people are swaying one way, it's important to listen. But what will be done about it? Who knows? versus white good fight I'm looking forward to that one like most fights I'm looking forward to my do I'm a fan of boxing like away from actually competing in it I actually like watch a lot of boxing and uh, listen to a lot of people that talk about boxing at the minute I'm listening to a lot of uh, Virgil Hunter who's an experienced coach who was a trainer of Andre Ward so I've been listening to a lot of Virgil Hunter recently so that's my guy um, greetings from Nigeria Greetings from London To all my Nigerians in the chat I hope you're well It's a new week <laughs> Do I watch UFC? Um, so what it is Like football I don't watch A mass amount of football I don't watch a mass amount of UFC But I like individual players so I do my research on a lot of individual players. So in terms of UFC, um, Usman, um, Francis Ngannou, obviously Conor McGregor, Khabib, like the superstars, Israel Desanya. I put Israel Desanya as one of my favorite athletes right now though. Um, he's got so much character and I'm glad we have these social platforms where he can showcase how vibrant he is. Like the guy is just body popping, um, doing crazy stuff in the ring underneath that immense amount of pressure. I got so much respect for him. He's my favorite, my favorite athlete right now.